Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to get much better, sharper photographs when shooting handheld. Now I've talked about this before and it is embedded in some of my other videos, but what I want to do today is have its own video so it's a good reference point for this rule. The shutter speed focal length rule is a way of ensuring you get sharp photos when shooting handheld. As long as your subject is in focus and you get a good exposure, you know that you'll get many more usable photos when using this technique. All you do is match your focal length number to your shutter speed number. And whatever that shutter speed is, you don't use any slower shutter speeds when shooting handheld. If I was taking a photograph with a 50 mm lens, I'd make sure the slowest shutter speed I used was 1 50th of a second. So I could shoot a photograph with 1 50th of a second right through to 1 8000th of a second or faster if I have a faster shutter mechanism in the camera that I'm using, but not any slower. If you were to go down to 1 25th of a second with a 50 mm lens, unless you had very steady hands or very good image stabilization in the camera or a mix of the two, you're more likely to get blurring in your shot from the subtle movements in your hands. If I'm shooting with an 85 mm, I'll have my shutter speed at 1 85th of a second or faster. If you can't find a matching number, just make sure it's higher. So for my 85 mm, I make sure I'm at 1 100th of a second or faster. If I was taking a photograph with my 14 mm, I'd make sure that my shutter speed was 1 15th of a second or faster. Now, if you use in-body image stabilization, or if your lens has optical stabilization, you may be able to bring this shutter speed slower, but if you follow this rule, you'll be well on your way to getting better, sharper images. Now, if you're using a crop censored camera, depending on the crop will change how this rule works. But one rule that I always say to people is if you're actually using a crop censored camera, just double the focal length. So say if you're on 18 millimeters, what you wanna do is double it. So what you do is you probably set it at 1 35th of a second or faster. This will ensure that you get good sharp images. And if you're shooting with a 200 millimeter lens on a crop censored camera, I'd suggest keeping the shutter speed at 1 400th of a second or faster. Now, if you've got any other rules that you follow in photography, let me know in the comments below. It'll be great to hear your thoughts. For more videos, subscribe and make sure you click the notification bell. Also head over to my YouTube channel where I have a growing library of photography and videography tutorials. I'll see you next time.